The deadlift is the key multi-joint exercise with a barbell. It develops both the leg muscles, especially the buttocks and the rear surface of the thighs, and the lower back muscles, the inner muscles of the spine are pumped the most. Today we're going to talk about the changes that will occur in your body if you do a deadlift. So we recommend you watch it to the end, it will be informative. Although the deadlift is the most important strength exercise, most trainees avoid it. The reasons are simple, complicated technique as well as a serious load on the body. Moreover, beginners often do not know exactly what muscles are pumped by the deadlift. Men especially benefit from doing this exercise, work with heavy weights and low repetitions increases the level of testosterone and growth hormone, helping to quickly build muscles throughout the body. The advantage of this exercise is that the deadlift not only trains muscle strength, but also has a positive effect on the hormonal background, in other words, it gives a powerful release of hormones in the blood. Ultimately, it helps to increase overall muscle mass. It should be noted that to increase the production of testosterone and growth hormone, it is necessary to do deadlift with high working weight, about 80% of the figure of the maximum single repetition, and also in low repetition mode, no more than 5 sets of 5 repetitions in each. Now let's look at the advantages of the deadlift. First, the deadlift helps you burn fat. Alvin Cosgrove, a personal trainer and author of many fitness articles, recently wrote about a study in which participants were divided into three groups. The first group, on a diet, the second, on a diet and doing cardio and the third, on a diet with cardio and strength training. Participants who were on the diet lost an average of 6 pounds over 12 weeks. The group with cardio training lost less than 7 pounds, they exercised 3 times a week for 50 minutes. The third group lost an average of almost 10 pounds, 44% and 35% more than the diet and cardio groups. So, by lifting weights, the third group was able to burn more fat than the diet-only group or the group with a combination of cardio and diet. Obviously, lifting weights will help you burn fat more efficiently, and, moreover, you will also thin out your muscles. Second, improves posture. The deadlift increases strength and improves posture. This exercise is designed to strengthen muscles and improve overall posture. It has a positive effect on the back, strengthens it and provides stability. Third, involves several muscle groups at the same time. The deadlift works more muscles than any other exercise, including the squat. This exercise engages all major muscle groups. If you only have time for one exercise, do the deadlift. So, you will work the lower and upper body, including the back muscles. Fourth, increases strength, which you can also do outside the gym. If you do other strength exercises like the bench press, you don't do anything else like that on normal days. It's not like you're just lying on your back and lifting something up. And with the deadlift, you're training muscles that will help with any task, whether it's moving furniture, moving or carrying heavy shopping bags. Fifth, one of the safest exercises. The deadlift is one of the safest exercises you can do. Of course, it must also be done with proper technique. Nevertheless, you are not exposed to being crushed by the bar during the exercise. If you suddenly feel heavy, you can simply drop the weight, of course this will create a lot of noise, but you will not harm your health. You will also not need a spotter for this exercise. 6. Strengthens arm muscles. The deadlift is an exercise that strengthens the muscles of the whole body and increases strength as well as the muscles of the arms. All because your fingers are part of the weightlifting process. Your forearms have to work incredibly hard, and if you keep lifting heavy, but the right weight, your strength will increase. Seventh, increases hormone levels. However, we are not talking about hormones that will make you emotional or like women. Doing eight to 10 repetitions of pulling increases your body's testosterone levels as well as your growth hormone levels. Testosterone accelerates muscle growth and promotes muscle recovery, and growth hormone, which is produced in the pituitary gland, promotes tissue healing, muscle growth and fat burning. Eighth, it is not a costly exercise. Many exercises require a lot of overpriced equipment, accessories, sports shoes or clothing. But not the deadlift. You will need a barbell and some pancakes, depending on how much you can lift. Then you can do the exercise. Be sure to learn the correct technique first. The ninth, improve your physical fitness. Believe it or not, 
If you do 10 repetitions of pull-ups, your cardiovascular condition will improve. However, there is nothing to exaggerate here, and, as with other exercises, you should only do as many as you can. 10th, Prevents injuries. The deadlift can prevent injury simply by increasing muscle strength around critical tendons and ligaments. Strengthening the joints with strong muscles is necessary to prevent injuries, especially in the hamstrings and lower back. When and how often to do it? If you are training on a split, a program with division of training days for different muscle groups, you do the deadlift once a week, on the leg day. In this case you should first do some exercises to warm up the muscles of the rear surface of the thighs, then the lifting. If you train on a full body program, working out all body muscles in one session, it is recommended to do heavy lifting no more than twice a week, for example on Monday and Friday. You must do the exercise in the first third of the workout, and not at the end, when there is almost no strength left. As mentioned above, you achieve the maximum effect of the exercise when working with submaximal weights, about 80% of the single maximum repetition, and in low repetition mode, no more than 5 repetitions per set. The break between sets must be 60 to 90 seconds. Despite the advantages, development of power parameters and increase in the production of hormones, the deadlift has several disadvantages. First, work with heavy weights requires perfect compliance with the correct technique, imposing a number of contraindications, e.g., problems with the spine, knees, etc. Secondly, the deadlift puts a serious strain on the cardiovascular system and is not recommended for people with high blood pressure or heart disease. Thirdly, the exercise requires large stores of glycogen in the muscles and is not suitable for low-carbohydrate and no-carbohydrate diets. If you're still wondering if the pull-up is the right exercise for you, try it without the excessive and heavy weights. Over time, you will be able to add weight and thereby increase your strength even more. If you are a woman, you probably know that you don't have to worry about turning into a muscular man, which is why most women refuse to do strength training. This exercise will benefit your body, improve your posture and strengthen your spine. Do you include the deadlift in your training process and what results have you achieved? Share your experiences in the comments. Friends, we recommend you to watch another one of our videos, in which we talked about changes that will occur in your body if you train with kettlebells, it will appear on your screen, as well as a link to it will be in the description and attached comments. Thanks for watching this video to the end. We hope it was interesting. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, there will be a lot of useful information. See you soon.